Let's round some numbers now, starting with 37. If we want to round that to the nearest 10, we go to the tens place. So whatever place we're rounding to, we start at. Now it's a three, so that means we're going to be rounding this to either 30 or 40. We want to know which one it's closest to. And you can see here, if we draw a line to 30 and then to 40, it's closer to 40, isn't it? So 37 is closer to 40, so 37 rounded to the nearest 10 is 40. But let's use the rule for that as well, not just the number line. Remember, we're rounding to the nearest 10, so we go to the tens place. And that tells us that we're going to be rounding down to 30 or up to 40. And then we move one place to the right. We always move one place to the right. If that number is 0, 1, 2, 3 or 4, we're going to round down. Actually, if it was 0, it would already be 30. So you wouldn't even have to do it. Now, if it's 5 or more, we would round up. And in fact, we've got a 7. So since that number's 7, we're rounding up to 40. Now let's try one with the hundreds. We're actually looking at 341. It doesn't matter how many digits we've got though, it matters where we're rounding it to. And we're rounding it to the nearest hundred. So we're going to check the hundreds place, which is 3. If that's a 3, we know that the hundred before that is 300. And the 100 that comes after it is 400. So are we rounding it down to 300 or up to 400? Hmm, remember what we do? We move one place to the right and we've got a 4. So remember the rule, if it's 4 or less, we round down. If it's 5 or more, we round up. So in this case, we've got a 4. So we're going to be rounding down to 300. Oh, and by the way, the one in the units place, we don't even need to look at that. Because we're rounding to the nearest hundred, we only look at the tens place to see what to do. So we're rounding down to 300 because 341 is closer to 300 than it is to 400. Now, when we look at thousands, we use the same rule. How could we round 1,978 to the nearest 1,000? Well, we start at the thousands place and we've got a one. So that means we're wondering if it's closer to 1,000 or 2,000. So we move one place to the right. And remember, if that's four or less, we're going to actually round down. If it's five or more, we're going to round up. Now the seven and the eight, we don't even need to look at those because we're rounding to the nearest thousand. So we only look at the hundreds place. We've got a nine, so we're gonna be rounding that up. That's actually closer to 2,000 than it is to 1,000. Now, what about this larger number? We've got 16,504. How do we round this to the nearest 1,000? Well, we need to be careful right here. If we just were to start at the far left digit, we may not be in the right spot because that's actually tens of thousands. So we keep that digit there. We need to check this one. We want to know with that one, are we rounding up or down? So we're going to end up with a number that's either 16,000 or 17,000, depending on which one it's closer to. So we move one place to the right, and then we use the rule that says if it's four or less, we round down. If it's five or more, we round up. So we have a five, and we're going to be rounding up. So we're not going to be even looking at the tens and units digit. They're going to be changing to zero. But because we've got a five there, our thousands is going to be rounded up. So 16,504 is rounded up to 17,000. And you can see, if you look at 16,504 on a number line, 16,500 is there. So 16,504 is about there. So it's closer to 17,000.